It's a painful disease. It's typically found in daycares, but it's been spreading through one college campus and a number of other highly contagious illnesses reported in our area. Crystal Chen is in with a look at what is going around. Good morning. So in the past couple of days, you may have heard of hand, foot, and mouth disease. It can be miserable for kids to get it, but recently several cases of the disease have been reported at Florida State University. We'll get to that in just a few moments, but first, let's take a look at what uh, we're seeing around Duval County. Starting with our sick weather map, we're seeing a lot of people still with a bad case of allergies, especially over towards Mayport, where some of those allergies are leading to sinus infections. Now, over towards the west side, seeing a lot, seeing five people reporting, and up towards Panama Park, we've got five excuse me, four people with the flu. Now in Clay County at the Care Spot in Middleburg, they're also dealing with pink eye, stomach bugs, sinus infections, and strep throat as well. Down in St. John's County at the Healing Arts Urgent Care, uh, several people have been suffering from pharyngitis, and that's possibly from strep throat. There's also been a number of rashes and skin infections that's been reported. And in Nassau County at the Care Spot in Yulee, it's strep throat, bronchitis, and sinusitis. Now, with the recent outbreak of hand, foot, and mouth disease at FSU, doctors want to make sure you recognize the symptoms and know how to avoid it. Many of us don't get it, don't get much of it until it's too late. Now, according to Dr. Lapp, there's no cure for it, and it is highly contagious. So just like most viruses, it's, it's pretty contagious. So it's one of those ones in a daycare setting and, you know, can spread very quickly in a school setting, you know, amongst families. You know, if they haven't had it, will often spread amongst the whole family. Hand, foot, and mouth disease is caused by a number of different viruses. Symptoms include fever, lack of appetite, sore throat, and a runny nose. Within a day or two after the initial symptoms appear, a blister-like rash forms on the hands, feet, or mouth. Dr. Lapp says that parents will often bring their kids to the doctor because they're not eating only to learn that the lack of appetite is being caused by mouth sores from the virus. The illness is spread through direct contact with nose or throat fluids of an infected person or through contact with infected stool. People with the illness are usually most contagious in the first week, but they can remain contagious for weeks after symptoms go away. There is no specific treatment for hand, foot, and mouth disease. However, symptoms which can last for a week can be managed. Dr. Lapp says it's best to avoid foods and drinks that are too acidic that can irritate mouth sores. Avoiding the orange juice, uh, pineapple juice, those kind of things, and stick with more milder foods, you know, cold things may feel a little bit better, sucking on a popsicle, those kind of things. Um, you can also use over-the-counter pain medications as well. Now, doctors also say that a good hand washing is one of the best ways to protect yourself. It's also important to stay home if you or your child are sick with hand, foot, and mouth disease to prevent the spread of the illness.